Hey y'all, it's Whitney and I'm here to answer some of your questions. Number one is from Rob J. He says, how did you overcome the mental aspect of getting into shape and how has exercising played a role in developing positive self-esteem and body acceptance? This is a really good question, Rob. Um, for a long time, I didn't want to exercise at all and that only contributed to my weight gain and my depression and everything else. When I finally realized that I could get back in the gym and that fat people could work out, fat people could be fit and that fat people deserve to move their bodies, any way that makes them feel good. I became so liberated in my body and we all know that exercise is good for you, right? It makes you feel good, it gives you endorphins. And once you start to kind of um, use your body to do something, it just fosters a better relationship within your body. So I highly recommend it. Number two, Lara B, what are your favorite workouts and what kind of exercises do you recommend for plus size folks who are just now starting to work out? I love this. So this piggybacks right off the last question. Laura, for me, um, I think that you first need to pick something that you love because a lot of us associate exercise with punishment and you're not gonna get very far if you're in that mindset. So for me, obviously the first thing I started to do was dance and it made me joyful, it made me happy. Other things you can think about would just be like taking a walk with your friends, um, just doing something leisurely uh, with someone that you love. So you start to build a positive association with it. And then when you feel ready, you can get into the gym. Um, I recommend finding a place where you feel comfortable, um, finding a trainer maybe even that you feel really comfortable with so that you're not in an environment where um, you feel like you don't belong. Number three, Debbie H, how is PCOS diagnosed and what are your symptoms? Debbie, PCOS is really complicated. Um, there are a ton of symptoms. For example, um, higher testosterone, which leads to um, thinning hair on your head, developing hair in other places where you typically wouldn't have it as a woman. Infertility is a symptom. Irregular periods are a symptom. Um, those are all things that I had. Acne, I have. Um, and then if you have an ultrasound, you can actually see if you have the cysts on your ovaries. But you don't even have to have the cysts to be diagnosed. A lot of times doctors will give you a test for insulin resistance, and if you are insulin resistant and you have a combination of other symptoms, they will diagnose you. Happy holidays to everybody, bye.